Hi everyone, Patricia Warby, Alchemy Therapies. Thank you very much for tuning in again. More on the coronavirus diaries. Um, we're on day 10, 11, I've lost count, um, of lockdown in the UK, which basically means we have limited reasons for going out, um, which of course is entirely correct. However, the police here are very variable in their response to this. And in my area, we are being uh, randomly stopped and our reasons for driving where we're driving are questioned. And um, this isn't happening everywhere. It doesn't seem to be happening in London uh, and other places I've asked and friends who live elsewhere don't seem to be having this issue. I think maybe up in uh, Yorkshire it's occurred and maybe also Liverpool. Um, so the response by the police is rather odd I feel, um, because they're basically saying that the government have outlawed driving anywhere to walk or walk your dog or just generally to go out for a walk, which doesn't seem to be in the legislation. It, it's definitely an interpretation, which I can't find. And the odd thing is, in order to actually instigate this, they're pulling people over. And I have witnessed this leaning in to the car window to ask drivers. Now, and what happened to a friend of mine today was that um, she was asked this, uh, where are you going? And her reasons were critiqued, let's say. And when um, she ventured, you know, her answer, the policeman actually said, you are putting my life at risk. And I thought to myself, um, apart from this being very draconian it's also really untrue uh, and in fact he is putting her life at risk by leaning into the car door far more than she is driving on her own to a local place it's less than two miles away it's on the coast it's not a beauty spot it overlooks Forley power station it's just somewhere where people will um, take their dogs and go for a walk and it is entirely possible to remain separate from other people in this area it's not massively visited it's just a local place and this is happening all over uh, my area at the moment and the police are randomly stopping people and discouraging this and it frankly worries me because um, obviously we have to stay home and away from public places as much as we can but outdoor exercise in sunshine is one of the most preventative methods you can have for keeping healthy right now because sunshine builds vitamin d in your skin and vitamin d is the most powerful protection you can have against the secondary infection and the immune dysregulation called ARDS um, which is what is killing people right now apart from the lack of ventilators and so um, I do believe that this response is is over the top and I find it nonsensical given what the real issues are right now which is lack of protective equipment for those on the front line and lack of testing in this country I don't normally get political on these um, videos but I do feel that that our government have uh, shilly shallied around with first of all um, avoiding the, the the idea altogether then they took on the idea that um, they would create herd immunity then that was immediately you turned away from and now uh, we have total shutdown in this country and it is um, killing a lot of hope a lot of um, businesses which will never recover it's costing millions and you know if a, a Oh, and we're getting a letter from the Prime Minister in the next two days costing £5.8 million. That's about, I don't know, seven or eight million dollars, US dollars, um, just to tell us what we already know and which things we can clearly get from the internet or newspapers. Um, that would have been much better spent on testing all frontline health workers right now and keeping them safe because they are the ones that are dying right now, apart from obviously. The, um, some people who are getting the disease but um, they're the ones at risk because they're, they're getting a high viral load by treating people and um, in very close contact when you're treating someone so uh, this is a travesty 
and we really need to do this better. We don't want to follow the US model where they're already finding uh, exponential growth in both new cases and deaths because their pandemic response has been all over the place, frankly. Um, you know, Trump had disbanded a lot of the centres that Obama had set up because obviously there was some personal feeling that anything that Obama set up was bad, so he wanted to cancel that. And um, then he's, you know, being advised by people who really don't know either. Uh, I think finally he's got somebody who does have some understanding of the, the nature of this pandemic and the idea that everything will be back to normal by Easter is frankly ludicrous. It's going to take probably the rest of this year for us to really get a handle on what's going on and um, anybody who says different really isn't looking at the facts here but this was entirely avoidable if we'd gone on the tracking and tracing route which is what China did it's what South Korea did so effectively and um, it's a travesty and I just I don't want to end on a note of despair but it really is frankly uh, just a waste so what can you do right now to maintain your health well I've talked about this a lot but first of all just Try not to um, be overwhelmed. So get out into nature if you can, if you can walk or cycle or drive locally and you're not, you know, your police forces are not like mine. Um, get out into sunshine, contact the earth and the sea because they are very grounding, which helps stabilize our body electrochemically. A lot of us are hooked 24 seven onto news media, whether it be um, laptops, mobiles, um, devices of some sort or another and and that's bathing us in Wi-Fi you know most of us are using Wi-Fi so this isn't great for us we are electrochemical and we need to balance and we're being overwhelmed our systems are being overwhelmed so get out into the earth touch the earth touch the sea skinny dip if you can um, but uh, also be wise to your diet. I mean, I was in a shop today watching how people were stocking up on high carb foods, beer, you know, because of course people feel miserable and carbs give you that dopamine hit, they give you that boost, but this is gonna do nothing for your immunity. You really need colored foods, so high phytonutrient rich foods and good fats really important for your brain, really important for your cells to function well. Vitamin D, vitamin C. Don't believe the naysayers who say this isn't proven. The science is really, really very, very solid. I've done a master's degree in nutritional medicine. I should know what I'm talking about. I did it with uh, GPs, consultants. This was a medical course for medics. And, you know, most GPs have half a day to a day's worth of nutritional training. So if you see them quoted in national newspapers, which you will, saying there's no proof that vitamin C or vitamin D will help, uh, that's because they simply don't know. And it's not their fault. And they are taught that the body has all it needs in a, a good diet, only if your gut absorbs it. And most people don't have a great gut system because their guts are toxic. So, um, and leaky. Um, this isn't fanciful it isn't new age stuff it's really well known now that um, we don't absorb everything we eat anymore and so supplementation is often very needed and particularly as you age so um, and actually with children because they're eating a lot of junk food so please please look after yourselves and keep hopeful keep listening. <laughs> Talk soon. Bye-bye.